Wireframes should be the first essential step in any web design project for you or for your client. And recently I asked in the WP Crafter Facebook group, how many people actually use wireframes? And I was shocked to find out that the vast majority of web creators are not using wireframes at all. So in this video, I'm going to go over why you should use wireframes and give you some resources on how you could rapidly create wireframes of websites that you're going to build. First, let's look at what what is a wireframe? A wireframe is a visual outline of a website using placeholders. You can see one right here. There's no distinct colors or content. There's placeholders for the images and you get a visual overall idea of how the layout and the content is going to be structured on this particular page. Essentially, everything is generalized so you have an idea of what you're going to be doing. Now that we know what a wireframe is, is why should you use wireframes? The biggest reason is you're going to save a ton of time and effort if you start first with a wireframe because you're first focusing on the layout and the structure. You're not focusing on colors or images or bits of text that are going to go on the web page, which can really slow down the entire design process when there's lots of debate and going back and forth on those particular parts. First, what you want to do is nail down what you're going to be doing in a wireframe to avoid all of that. And it's going to provide a ton of clarity on how everything's going to be organized and laid out on the page. So you can first agree on that before you start going into fonts and colors and images and text that are going to go on the website. So if wireframes are so great, why are web creators not using them? After asking the community, I've kind of zeroed in on two main reasons. The first reason is not all web creators actually have a design process established, nor do they have one that they actually follow. And you really tend to see this more with web implementers that might start off with a template from a theme, and that's what they end up delivering to their client, a customized template. Which brings me to the second reason, and that's because the budget of the client just doesn't call for this additional process and the time that it takes to put together a wireframe, even though starting with the wireframe is going to speed up the overall project. Now let's take a look at some of the resources for creating wireframes before you start your design project. First, I'm going to show you some wireframe resources that are available if you happen to have Elementor Pro. Don't worry, I'm going to show you some free resources as well. But if you have Elementor Pro, they recently did, uh, released a whole bunch of wireframe kits that you can use and they're in the kits library. So here I am on an Elementor based website. If I go to templates and click where it says kit library, the first bit of kits that it's going to pull up are those brand new wireframes. So these are entire website builds that are completely wireframed out and they're very easy to convert into a website. So we have them listed out here by their purpose. So this one right here is for a local workshop a local brand, this is a local service, and another variation for local services, a portfolio website, and another local brand. Uh, there's several of them here. So for example, here's one that looks nice to me. It's a local service wireframe. Let's take a look at it. And you can see top to bottom, it's the full website. There's not much to disagree on as far as text and colors go, because that's all going to be adapted once the project moves forward. So it's really to give your client an idea of what the layout is that you're going to be suggesting. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you go to all websites, they pretty much every section of the website follows a certain pattern. So it's just a compilation of these patterns. So this right here has a home. Let's see, there's also an about page available here, services page, blog page, and lastly, you have a contact page right here. So what you would do is you could set this up in a staging area, live st staging area, send it over to the client for approval before you get started. 
Now, if you happen to use the WordPress block builder like I do, there's plenty of free resources available. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. The first one is Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, and it's free. So this is implemented a little different. It's not full pages or full websites. It's section by section. So it gives you additional flexibility on putting these wireframes together. So let's go ahead and take a look at them now. So here I am in a page layout. I'll click this button here that says UAG templates. And you can see there's an option right here that says wireframes. And when we click on it, all the wireframes are here and they're nicely organized by light and dark or all, and then the particular category. So you might want to first start out with the hero and then move into a services section. And you could rapidly implement one of these wireframes that are completely custom for your client or for the project you're starting. There is also a free wireframe kit available with Cadence Blocks, which happens to be another block builder package. And it's implemented pretty much the same way. If I go in to create a new page, I'll be able to access them and add them section by section. So I can click here where it says design library, click right here where it says wireframes, and you can see all the different wireframes that they have made available here as well. There is also those filtering options. I can click the arrows here and you can see them broken down by purpose right here. I'm personally a big believer in wireframes. Some of you already know I have a product called Cart Flows and inside of cart flows, we have templates that we design and they're included with the package. It's a great product. You can add the free version to your website. And what we do is we have a very clearly defined design process where it's first wireframed out in Figma before it's ever built out in any of the various page builders that we convert them over to. Having this as part of our process ends up saving us a ton of time because before it actually makes it to the page building tool, we review it. So I'll sit there every other week and I'll say what needs to be changed or what adjustments need to be made. And it's made before we get too deep into the process. Here are some of our latest templates that we've released and uh, only the ones that say pro required the pro version of cart flows. So uh, for example, here's a really nice one. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And so this is the main part of this template. And you can see it's a very nice design, but we wireframe everything out first, and then we go and we convert it into the block builder or Elementor, uh, as well as Beaver Builder. And you can see that's why uh, that part of our process, we can end up developing lots of templates and they end up looking great and they fit the use case perfectly. So that's a faster and easier way to wireframe out your websites before you end up building them. I tell you, you're going to save a ton of time and it's going to end up being a better design if you start from a wireframe first. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you could do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. That helps me here tremendously. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.